Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. Today, we are back at it again. Of course, there is so much to get to that I'm going to just sort of try to hop into it right away. So, oh, they could keep those little uh, strawberries. And we have more of them building up over this way too, so I definitely wanna grab these. But I do know that there is, before we get too distracted, a message on the message board that we definitely wanna read into. Now that we've gotten this upgrade so that we can uh, harvest things like this jelly stone, I definitely wanna look into that as soon as possible. These guys are looking at me over here. They must be hungry for something, right? Um, I'd imagine, but there's a lot going on. The chickens are actually popping up more and more, so that's great. So there's a lot to focus on. Let's first see what the goal might be with this. So Victor doesn't have anything to say, but we have Mochi Miles, that's a cute name. But what do you know? Beatrix LeBeau off on another adventure and didn't think to make her good pal, sometimes rival and forever mentor Mochi Miles, or to take, you yeah, know, to make. Seriously, B, next time you go running off to dangerous uncharted territory, could you at least give me a heads up? I'd like to be there for you in case you need me. Need me. Aw, well thank you, to help collect all those valuable resources that seem to be scattered all over that island. What, you think I wasn't going to do a little recon on my own? What well, could have or surveillance satellites if they can't stoop on stuff? Anyway, be careful out there. The island gives me a kind of weird vibe, so I'm going to keep poking around. Oh, and since I know you're starting this from scratch out there, take this refinery link. Should make things easier for you. I'll just put it on your tab. Later, later. So we get the refinery link. I don't know what that does but I guess we'll look into it right now if I pause, go to our Slimepedia, and over this way, Refinery Link. So would that be, I don't really know, Warp Tech, huh. So I, I don't know exactly what that does, but maybe we'll figure it out later. Maybe what it does is the same thing that this thing does. Yeah, okay, so of course this right here on the map, maybe we could put it anywhere we want. So I have a couple of goals in today's episode. I wanna try, of course, to make some more money. Um, right now, we're doing okay on cash, but obviously if we can make some more, that'd always be fantastic. Our money is still up for FOSS report, so I wanna try to make as much as I can from that right now. Um, so we'll toss a couple of those in and see if they might eat up some more phosphor. We probably wanna stay awake tonight so we can get more of those little guys, which are always great to get. And there's still a lot more I could cash in over this way if I wanted to do another stack because the money is up when it comes to these. I've taken out too many. <laughs> it happens very often. That's okay, that, those can just sit there no problem, but these are still, uh, actually no, they're down. Okay, I guess it's been another day. Okay, so maybe I'll sell these ones off and then I will leave it like that. So there we go. We won't touch that for a couple of days. I'll start stashing them away into here and hopefully that works out a bit better. I'm still a little bit confused by this. I paid for the fourth upgrade. So I can have the four points of for, or ports for storing. And it's just, oh, oh, wait a minute. Over here. Okay. I understand. I'm so silly. I'm so silly. I thought it would just, why would it be like that? You know? Um, I'm not sure, but this is where we could put some extra stuff too. Like maybe this will be our food slot. There we go. I don't know if this counts as food or not, but I think I actually want to put this downstairs so that we can start working towards other upgrades because now that we can harvest materials, there's a lot of upgrades I could potentially work towards. If we take a look, obviously we have the resource harvester, but there's things like the extra heart module and the power core, which will give us extra energy. For that, I just need some cotton floor and some extra money laying around. Honestly, not too bad. We have the dash boots. These highly advanced and frankly fashion forward boots reduce the energy consumption of sprinting. For that, I need a boom port. I don't even know what a boom is, so we'll have to find out. The jetpack would be pretty cool, but we don't have radiant ore. And there's things like the tank booster, which will improve nano storage cell technology, allows your vac tanks to hold 30 units instead of 20. So that could be good. But I think mostly I just want one extra tank, but I don't have the rock port for that. I think I need to go to a new biome for that. There's also other utilities. We have the med station. Um, here we go. We can make a refinery link, allows you to remotely deposit resources into a refinery. This is also a little bit expensive. We need deep brine. The yellow home portal needs jelly stone and deep brine. So I definitely want to deposit this uh, jelly stone. And I want to just sort of focus on heading back out there and finding more stuff. Uh, I might feed the tabbies real quick because they are just staring down. I'm worried that if we don't, they'll all break free in a moment. So let's grab up a couple of them and their favorites are the rock ones. I don't know if we have any, we have one, one or two rock ones, but I need to keep some of those around. Keep the stony hens around a little bit. Uh, there we go. So one of you will be lucky enough to get a stony hand. The rest of you are getting normals. There we go. 
But with all that happening, oh, and we got some on the outside, that should be enough for us to gather some extra stuff. Got a couple there, a couple here. Looking good. Oh wait, you guys got some more. Just grab what I can now, because I want to sort of stay out there and stay efficient if I can. I can't tell, is the sun raising or is the sun going down? But money is up for the tabby ones. It's still the same. I don't know if it gets much higher than 10, so maybe I really should look into selling it soon. Maybe that's the problem, is that it just won't go any higher than that. But I'd like to stash away some of this, and now we're good. We are going to head out there into the world and hopefully find some stuff. I say that, but then I got two more of these, and I, I, wanna, I wanna get them. I'm sorry, it's just there's so much time I could spend here. It is getting darker, but that's where I could get some extra phosphor slimes, and that would be good. Got it. Okay, no more focusing on that. I, I've put plenty of time into it. But if we do have the extra chance, I would love to try to figure out one of those uh, Gordo slimes. They seem interesting, right? There's gotta be something with them that I can do. You're just jumping around. Okay, ooh, the carrots maybe? I'll grab some of these. I'll toss you one. There you go. Lots of slimes around. It seems like they're up to something, doesn't it? I mean, they're probably just eating, yeah. Okay. I'll grab some carrots and stuff, but I think what we're mostly focused on is going to be more of the uh, the slime stuff that we can now equip and collect. Oh, but there's some more phosphor slimes. They do just pay a good chunk, so and I also just got a lot of strawberries coming in. So I'll get some of that, no problem. And I don't know if those tar are gonna show up again now that it's nighttime or what really causes that. Oh, the little chickens. Well, I definitely want Oh, there's too much stuff. There's too much stuff that I want. I want some of the roosters, but beyond that, let's grab this. There we go, so that is two more of the jelly stone. It looks like candy, it looks so tasty. Whoa, whoa, look at you! The cotton phosphor Largo, I love it. So cool, so cool. Um, and I can't really take too much of that, but it's okay. Look at you, the cotton Gordo. So it's another Gordo. Where am I right now? Uh, right here. Okay. Usually the, yeah, the Gordos show up on the map, so that's cool to see. I need to find these Gordos and sort of break them down one way or another eventually. Ooh, and that's probably good to grab, but I actually have a farm of those things now, so I guess it's not as important, but I do see this pot, always worth breaking those. And I got um, some money out of it, if not anything else, so that's good. It's just so peaceful and wonderful until you see one of these troublemakers around. And then you just wanna send them into space. Okay, maybe not in the space. They're gonna start spreading around. I don't think there's too much I can do about it. I'm just focused on collecting. There we go. So we can get a couple of those. And we'll just try to survive and avoid as much as I can. If I can get some extra carrots on mine as well, since, since it seems like that's what I've chose as my inventory item. But I guess I could just plop more of the jelly stone in I don't see what else it could be used for. I don't think I can feed it to anything. So I think this plopping into those is probably the most efficient. But if there's any other kind of material I can eat up like that, I should definitely take the chance. I just don't know if there is. Hey guys, <laughs> that's cool. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other materials I can suck up at the moment. It might just be those jelly ones that are available. Unless that glowy plant right there, that looks like it could be something. Only one way to find out really, and that's to walk up and try to vacuum it and see that nothing happens. What is going on with that tree over there, I wonder? That's a whole nother area to explore at some point in the future. Can't wait, looking forward to it. I'm not seeing much, I'm not seeing much. So I think we'll head out of here. Oh wait, I'll grab this pot really quickly. Whoa, that was weird. The chicken sort of puffed up for a moment. I'll put them with their other chicken friends. There we go. But I think for the most part, we should probably just head out of here and go somewhere else. Yeah. Oh no, this was maybe a mistake. Can I make it? Oh, I made it. All right, never mind. We're fine, we're fine. We got the good platforming skills. Whoa, here we go, another pod. What is this one gonna have for us? This is an emerald cypress, so a blueprint for that. A tree whose leaves are rich emerald color. They're just leaves though and won't make you rich. Huh. <laughs> okay, well, good to know. Very cool to see that kind of stuff. But I think that's just a decoration, really. I don't think it's gonna do too much for us. 
So at this point, I'm just on the lookout for any more of the things that'll give me actual materials. Whoa, so pretty around here. Yeah, we haven't been around here too much. I feel like I ran into a lot of them before when I wasn't looking for them, but now that I'm looking for them, I just can't find them anymore. I want the roosters specifically, and I wonder what all that is. Whoa, there's, this, there's so much to find, so much to find. You really get to see it in a better lighting when it's dark outside. There are some. I wonder if I can get up there, though. Ah, oh, just barely couldn't make that jump. I bet you I could somehow, though. I could just, there we go, I got up. Is there anything up here, though? Not really. No reward for my fancy jumping. That's okay. So let's check this out. I know that there's one up there. Now the question is, how do I get up there, you know? I think I've been up there before. Yeah, 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 okay. And then there's you. Okay, let's try feeding you the carrots. Look at this guy. He's so happy. I like it. So, filling this up. You are getting bigger and bigger, that's for sure. Can I just feed you anything? I think so. So we might have to come back with even more food for you. But in the meantime, can I make this crazy jump? Oh, can I bounce off of you? I don't think so. There might be a better way around. Whoa, hey guys! Oh, you're still not happy with me. But why? Feral slimes, it's hard to be nice on an empty stomach. Not my problem, okay? Please be nice. There's so much going on. I don't know why they're so angry. I mean, I do know, but like, I, I don't know what I, why it's my problem, you know? Uh, I need to be able to find a way up there. It might just be as simple as that. Ooh, here we go. Found another pod. What will this pod have for us? This is a small boulder. Larger than a pebble, smaller than a boulder. <laughs> okay, well, good to know. I feel like I've lost the point of where I'm trying to get to uh, very quickly. It can be easy to do that, it seems. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to find that extra material, but it just goes away. Can you just lay off? You were just trying to attack me from every which direction. There's gotta be a way up there. I'll take some more chickens. Oh, hey guys, what do you got? All right, a couple more chickens. A couple more of everything. Gotcha. I'm gonna feed all this to the, the Gordo, if I can manage. Yeah, I don't see a way up there. Very peculiar. But there is also another thing up there. Huh. I don't know, maybe the answer will be sort of set forth once we feed you a bit more. You're getting bigger and bigger. It's a little scary, to be honest. I don't know if you're gonna pop or what. We need to keep looking for food then. Very promising though. Hi there. Now let's grab that pogo fruit. And then I don't need the tabby sling too much at the moment, I don't think. Whoa, they're all comboing. It is just sort of a different experience to explore during the nighttime though, for sure. Oh, do I have this one? I do. It's, it feels very easy to get lost in this game. Oh no, there's more of them. It's right up there, I can see some more. But I just find myself getting turned around very easily. I'll get one Q berry, that's all I get there. Oh no, oh no. Can't get up any which way from that. But I could from here, right? If I were to just do a fancy jump or two, and then get up across these rocks. I know these guys, they're coming for me, I don't like it. But no. Oh, I passed it, I'm so silly. Okay, ow. Thanks for taking a chomp out of me, I guess. Oh no, oh no. Where was it? It was right over over here. Here it is, but now I gotta get rid of something. Uh, it's a strawberry. Come on, come on, come on. I need some of this. I need it now. Oh no. And I think it's time to go. I think after all this, I know it was a lot of work for just two of them, but oh no. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, here you go, eat up. Oh, oh, something's about to happen. Whoa, Gordo Slimes, bon, bon appetit. That was so cool. Boom, want to get out of that one. We get ourselves a stony hen, which I definitely needed. And now it's just a big water spurt. Can I ride that or what's going on now? That was so cool. Whoa, yes I can. So what's going on up here? First off, some more chickens. And this thing, the uh, another capsule. Whoa! 
Whoa, something's happening. Oh my goodness. So what is that thing? Whoa! I have no clue. We gotta go check that out in a second. Is there a safer way down? I'm not sure. Uh, sure doesn't look like it. These guys are causing big problems. There's a big spread of everything happening. I don't know if I was supposed to do something to prevent it, but you know what, I'm just gonna send them flying. What is this? I have no clue. Whoa, we're going somewhere. Where are we? Ember Valley. Whoa, that is so cool. So I found my way to a new location. Whoa, I'm stretching a little, my character was. Um, I don't know if there's too much I wanna do here. I feel like I'm not prepared for all this. But geez, a whole new area to explore, Ember Valley. I definitely wanna work on that a little bit, but like I said, I might wanna come back a bit more prepared. Is there anything I can maybe just grab for the moment and then head back? Because I'm sure my slimes probably need me sooner or later. Uh, I could get some more phosphor slimes, but I don't know how much more I actually want of them for the time being. This place seems so cool. Oh, here we go. Hold on, what, what do I wanna spit out for this? Uh, Jeez, I really need that stony hen, but I got a couple back at home. Let's try this. What do I get here? Radiant ore, the awesome power of a rainbow and the sleek aesthetic of a lump of mineral. That is cool. One of these is just carrots and odd onions. Okay, so as you can see with a whole new biome, there's going to be a whole new host of things to find, but I just don't think we're ready for it yet. I feel like there's so much more we still need to do back at home before I'm really in a good spot with that. So exploring more biomes is definitely on the list of things to do, but I just don't wanna get carried away and then come home to a mess of slimes and stuff, you know? So once we become a little bit efficient back at home, I'm going to run all the way back home now and see what we can do. Whoa, wait a minute, who are you? What is this? Hold on, not you. Uh, this money one. Um, I gotta drop something. I'll drop these cotton boards. No, it's gone! No, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Was that it? I don't know. I certainly have missed out on something. Oh no. <laughs> well, that was interesting. I am really confused, and I'm also a little lost. Where am I? I'm right there. Okay, let's go home. I've seen a lot of new things. There's another, you know, big gordo over that way, but geez, what an interesting adventure this is becoming. Uh, I just need to get up there, so. But still, having this extra, the radiant ore, that could end up helping me more than you think with some things. Okay, hey guys, uh, here is three roosters. I think that'll definitely help. Oh, they are so hungry, huh? All right then, let's get two stony hens, or actually just one, because I need them to make more. Okay, toss that over, just once again, one will be very, very lucky. And I, I think I need to pay for an upgrade here. Anything twice as fast. Okay, yeah, growing them fast would be great. That definitely spent a lot of cash, but I have plenty left over. So hopefully that'll keep some of you happy. And then produce eggs twice as fast. We're going to spend a lot of money on this because I think they're worth investing in. Please don't leave. There you go, there you go, fall back over. Um, and I might just have to toss over another one. There we go. And maybe now we're good. Maybe there's a couple of hens in there. So you guys eat up and I will do this. Okay, doesn't seem so bad. And what about everybody that was over there? They all need water lettuce, which is exactly what we have right here. So yeah, we'll do a bunch of that. Oh, there's one right here, got it. And then drop off the phosphor slimes. I want a lot of those guys. But we're not quite ready with the strawberries, unfortunately. I thought we would be by now. But that's where we can maybe pay for some upgrades. I need the sprinkler next. So, hmm. The phosphor is up right now by a lot. So I can get the sprinkler upgrade pretty quick if I just take up the rest of this phosphor. Oh wait, didn't want to spit that out. There we go, spit you out, much better. So I guess I really should be combining the phosphor slimes with something else so that they're producing extra things. But I don't know what would be best. Like maybe the tabbies, but maybe we should wait until we have something entirely new. Cause right now we have uh, pink and cotton. 
we also have pink and tabby. Is it always as good to combine things with pink? I feel like there should be a better set of variety, right? Either way, I see so much stuff in there. You gotta be able to collect more, right? I mean, I think it's because we have too much of this. I wish I could do multiple slots, you know, but I can't. I can't do like two slots of pink. They're hungry though, so I definitely, oh, okay, well, perfect timing, look what's available. So we will grab some more of this stuff. No problem. Looking pretty good. That's gonna be 13. That is more than enough for all of our Phosphor friends. Okay, so back over this way then. Oh, it's up to 12 now? That might be where I wanna cash in. I gotta say, I don't think it's gonna get much higher than that for us. Oh, and there was extra strawberries in there. Okay, so I was being a bit silly. But for right now, I guess I could just, you know, stack some up in here. I could wait to see if it goes up the next day. Pretty good, pretty good. But this stuff I need to stack down here. Get right into that thing. So, one, two, three. And let's see what we can potentially make with that kind of stuff. Obviously I can up my health, but do I really need that? I think the power core is something more worth focusing on. On top of that, uh, things like the jetpack could be good, but I would need a lot more radiant ore, but now we know how to work towards it. There's also the tank booster and the uh, the silky sand is one that I really don't know. The rock core is, is probably in the same spot as that. So hopefully we can find it over time and the water tank adds a specialized vac tank that allows you to store fresh water. And I'm guessing once we find certain slimes that need water, that'd be great. And the pulse wave adds a pulse wave emitter feature to your backpack that pushes away slimes whenever you need some personal space. That sounds amazing, but we need a lot of interesting materials for that one. There's obviously a lot to earn up here that we would need to figure out, but we'll get there over time. I think that's just sort of, you know, the nature of the game is to chip away at things. Like deep brine is probably another thing I need to focus on. Okay. Oh no, somebody broke out. Can you please get back in there? Is it because you're so unbearably hungry? I know, I know. Hold on. Let me get you your second breakfast. We got a couple of carrots. And I got a couple of strawberries. I wanna save those for mostly the phosphor ones, but I might be able to give you a couple. Come on, come on. That's the problem with having so many is that eventually it does get hard to keep everybody fed and happy. There we go. But I should have enough money now to at least kick in the sprinklers here. Yep, that'll just make everything that much more efficient, which I definitely appreciate. More chickens are coming in. There's a lot of roosters. I don't need that many roosters. So, I just have to sit there and watch them all day. I'm so sorry. I did not plan that out very well. We can soak up some more of that stuff. Let's take what I can get from all that. There we go. And there was 12 from this one. Because I think the tabby should be lower today. But the pink should be higher. Yeah, I think I want to not touch it though and see if it goes up any more tomorrow. I think that's the better idea. So first, no, no, no. Not what I meant, not what I meant. Oh, that's right, I don't even have tabby stuff here. Ooh, that's where things get complicated, isn't it? I mean, I guess I have some space here. It's not really where I wanna keep things, but we can do that. And then for this one, add some more strawberries. They are still getting out. Okay, if anybody hops out, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. You, you're done. <laughs> All right. Well, they're making so much though. The problem is that it's maxed out already. So do a little bit of that and definitely take these two. I think I might just have to do some back and forth trips. That might be the most efficient thing for me to do at the time being. Because how are the yellow ones? The yellow ones are down, the pink ones are up. It's just it time to stack them all away, I think. Even though we're almost filled up with the pink here. There we go, we reached maximum for that. So that's where things get a little complicated. I think we'll just wait until the next day. If they're up tomorrow, that's great. If they're down, that's unfortunate. Okay, I'm just trying to grab all the phosphor. There's actually a lot of phosphor though. They've been pumping them out now. So keep the strawberries, all yours. The phosphor's up, remember. So definitely the time to sell. 
gotcha. Because sometimes things go up and down that we've never sold before. The market just does what the market does. And you, you guys are making a big fuss for no reason. There's no way you're hungry, right? I just fed you guys, so see ya. <laughs> I can send them so far though, it's so silly. But maybe now it's good to head back out and look around. Oh, there you are. I definitely need to prioritize trying to find some teleporters so. out. That is just something that needs to get done sooner rather than later. Or to like set one up, because then I can get around a lot faster. But where exactly do I want it, you know? Um, I'm thinking, okay, I don't need you. If I pick up any pink ports, I'm gonna just drop them off at the drop off area. I don't need the cotton slime. Oh, here we go. Didn't see this one before. So the more we understand the train, the more we're gonna find. Look at them stack up too, that's so cute. I love it. But just whatever food we can grab, like that's always good. Um, I mean, it's good to have some fruit. You know, some of them only eat certain fruit. Do that. But I guess if I'm trying to find more, it's always better to find the cotton ones than it is the pink ones, I think. So maybe I should look for those instead. I think I found just about all I can for this segment. What about down this way? There's a couple more friends popping up. I can get a couple more fruit from it. There we go. Much better, much better. I think I'm seeing some phosphor ones or something, so. Whoa. Whoa, yes I am, okay. Maybe I really should start with that then. There's just so much I could possibly do, and what are you doing here? So they will stick around during the day, and I think my best bet is just to send them out of here. I don't know if there's really anything more I can do about it. Don't you eat him. Yeah, if they eat some, they're going to split into more. So that's where things can be a huge problem. I'm trying to eat you up. Come on, send you in the water, where hopefully you won't return. That is such a problem, such a problem. There you go, you, gone. Because I, I think that it's important that I do that. I don't just leave them to their own devices. Then we have a huge problem. They're all over the place all of a sudden, you know? I feel like I haven't poked around this specific little corner too much though, so. It seems like there's some stuff up there I might be able to reach. Obviously some more carrots and such, but. I'm almost filled up with a lot of that, and that's good. But down this way is where the boat was, and there's you. So I'm really curious if I just keep making, okay, you, no need to be around here, go back in the ocean. Oh, that's right, because you're phosphor, you only like fruit. Well, I definitely wanna try just other Largos or Gordos and just see what ends up happening. Seems like a neat idea, right? So if I can find a couple more around here, just really start to fill up on it. That might just be my next best bet. In the meantime though, as I'm filling up, I guess I should look for, can't get those, the drop off station, which should be down that way. Not seeing any extra fruit. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. It's so easy to get turned around. I wish that there was a map on the screen at all times. That would be a really big help. But I guess the more we play, the more we'll just naturally know where to go. But I can do those and those. Hi there, little tabby. Let's see, any fruit around here. You know, this is great and everything. We are finding some ports that I could definitely make the use of, though. Can't go into that water, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, what about this cave? I was already in it. That's where it'd just be so nice to have some kind of map that I can just check those kind of things off on. But you know, we're doing a great job. I really don't think we're doing badly. Okay, oh, oh boy. Here we go, grab some of those. The stony hand is good, but nothing that I need right now. But that's where it can just be so easy to get distracted and why you have to have sort of tunnel vision on what you wanna get for your run. Like if you're out here to get a specific thing, you need to focus on that thing specifically or you'll get distracted by a million other things on your way. I did see some <laughs> this stuff, here we go. So there's a few here and then there should be some across there, but it's, it's, oh yeah, the geyser, the geyser. There we go. And where was it? Right over here, got it. Very, very cool. Yeah, okay, drop one, come on, give it to me. There we go. And, oh, the strawberry stuff. 
Okay, so you know what? Maybe that would work better. Does this count as a fruit? No, that's a veggie. But there's only one of them. So maybe the pogo fruit would just be better. I got, oh, not the chickadoos, <laughs> which is such an adorable name. But I'm not really finding too many other fruit sources. It's always these guys, and they're always so mad. Have some carrots, have some carrots, and just take a deep breath, you'll be fine. Hey, what do they give me? Um, Oh, they give me some tabby stuff, so that's good. The other one fell into the water, though, sorry. I'm glad they're happier now. Oh, here we go. What do I get? Some more chickens. I feel they often give chickens. Usually right when I, I don't need them. Okay, no wait. These are, no, I need it. I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to take it from you, but I really need these Q-berries. Is there any more Q-berries around? I don't think so. And was there supposed to be a, a Gordo around here? I feel like this led to something. There's something up there that I can't reach without a jetpack. Okay, well, at the least, break that open. Game can't decide to give me pogo fruit or q berries. It's always back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so maybe I'll just leave things be. I think it's about time that I go back home because it's about to be a new day or it's about to become nighttime actually. So that's gonna make things complicated. But hey, I got five of the jelly stone. So that certainly has to be making a difference at this point. Okay, so we're back to it. This area is so peaceful though. When things aren't going awfully wrong, it's very, very peaceful. Look at all that phosphor we got there. So I think I'm just going to immediately sleep until morning and see what might be waiting for us out here now. So first off, how's everything looking? 14, I think this is where we gotta cash out, right? 14, that's a lot, um, at least for what I've seen. And even looks like the tabby ports are up too. So I'll pop some of that in there. I do wanna go and just put the jelly stone away so it's taking up as little inventory as possible. Got it. I'm still deciding like what's the next best thing. I think that having a portal would be great, but I just don't have the materials for that. So what things do I have the materials for? We have extra health. Extra energy, I think is a good one. So I'm gonna take that right there. And then the dash boots, I don't have the boom ports for. If we could go back to the lava area, I'm thinking next episode, because we already got a lot going on in this episode. We'll go back to that lava area. Whoa, got some air out of that one. Interesting. Okay, everybody is so hungry, so ready to start gobbling some food. I'll grab a couple of them. Ooh, actually, yeah. Toss the chickadee, get some of the stony hens, because that'll make them really happy. There you go. Um, and then we can just have it automatically. Just grab some more. And don't forget all this. See, we're gonna cash in and get a bunch, and I mean a bunch, get back in there. You two, you two, come on. I'm about to feed you, just give me like 10 seconds. Here, have some carrots to tide you over, but let me grab this, because this will make you make more. I feel like I need to make another one. Oh, and they are all over the place. There's some out that way. Oh, that's the max I can hold. Uh, so here you go. Maximum amount of water lettuce. You're gonna be so happy. There are so many pores popping out, right? And then strawberries for you guys. I know you're hungry. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? There we go. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So, give you the strawberries back, but I want those ports. There we go. So how is the phosphor doing? I don't think it's actually very high right now. So we're just gonna save that up for a good while until we have like an absolute ton of it. Got it. But this stuff, this is what I wanna take. We can make so much out of this right now. So it's 14 each, we have over 100. Oh yeah, that's right, that's not how that works. Uh, the only problem is the actual manual labor of picking this up, running back over, picking more up, running back over, is gonna be a little bit tedious to say the least. But I'll work on it a little bit now. And hopefully, like I said, we'll make some good money from all this. Cause it seems like the market needs some pink ports and I'm, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this moment. Let's go for it. Oh no, I turn around for two seconds and these guys are making a, a huge fuss. Why though? 
Oh no, what do I do about this? What do I do? Um, I gotta do something, I gotta do it fast. Um, there is havoc happening. How do I, what do I do? Uh oh, um, they're not happy. That's for sure. Uh oh, I've made a huge mistake. They're gonna eat up my whole farm if I'm not careful and they're chewing me up too. Why? I guess because I just, one of them must have been really hungry. I tried to feed them all, but I think maybe that's the problem with there just being too many of them. And now the whole thing is just tar, so. This is not good. We have a lot of money now though, but also this mess to deal with. So I'm just going to keep trying to send them out before they get to my phosphorus. Oh, they've already gotten to my phosphorus. Oh, this is a disaster. Okay, well luckily they're on the other side Ooh, of my farm is the tabby. So can we please just, yeah, send them out that way. This is a mess. Gotcha. Come on. You. See ya. Only a few more left. A few more left. So this is why it's so important to keep everybody happy. And why I would always try my best to do, of course, but it's not easy, it seems. You know, if being a slime rancher was easy, everybody would do it, right? All right, so that's a shame. I, I guess for this point on, we, we need to rebuild a little bit, but you know, since money is still up, Okay, but I know how to fix this. It's unfortunate and it's sad to see all those little guys go, because that's not what I wanted, but I think I know how to fix this one, and, and hopefully we'll be able to approach it in a better way now. So, we're learning. We're gonna use that as a learning opportunity and just move on. Let's plop all those into there. I don't need this just yet, so I will plop them into there. And the same thing for the rest of this. I have uh, some of these, perfect. And I don't think they're all that hungry over there. Can you? This guy is just feasting while all of his best friends just got turned into evil tar blobs. All right, well, there's that. I guess you guys are still hungry, so let's do that. And then take some. We're making a lot of roosters here. So I don't think we need this many roostros. So one, two, three, and then one, two. Perfect. Take all this stuff back. And then send that port into the market. Send this one into storage. We just gotta keep that going. So for right now, I gotta take everything back over here. And you seem as happy as can be. So I'm glad you're happy and full, but there's still so many more ports I need to get. Okay, so this is the absolute last of my pink ports right here. Oh man. So I'm gonna stash these away. We have nearly 4,000. So we have lots of money to do stuff. And I think I'm going to use that mostly to upgrade things. So I think that one thing I could do, obviously I have a very lucrative setup over here with these tabby ports. I wanna keep that going on. So doing things like the music box, the music box plays a soothing tune that greatly reduces slime agitation. I might as well buy things like this and really make sure that the next time we get something set up, it is going well. An auto feeder will drop food into the corral at regular intervals. Just remember to keep it socked. I think that would be good once I make sure that the hen is producing as much as possible. So let's make sure that everything is doing well here. The elder collector, seems pretty good. It's expensive, but I think that those are the kind of things that are going to be worth investing in. So a couple more things to do. I will toss in a couple more water lettuces to them just to get them happy. But I think we're to go out and get pink slimes, phosphor slimes, and uh, tabby slimes. I think, well, actually, no, we have enough tabby. I think I'm gonna do pink slimes, phosphor slimes, bunny slimes, cotton slimes, whatever they are, um, and see how that goes. In the meantime, can I put carrots anywhere? I guess not. Oh, I, I have this slot, but I probably need that for something else. So I could get another slot. There we go. And that should be on this side. So what I could do now is this doesn't need to be here. This could instead be there. Just got to remember it's over there. Uh, so yeah, what I think I'll do is have, you know, ports here, ports in the back, and ports there, and then ports. I mean, uh, Vegetables here and then vegetables here, just food. That seems like a good idea to me. So this thing's gonna eat up all the elders. Which right now I guess none of them are elders? Hmm, okay. They are hungry either way. Oh, and the strawberries are all grown up too. The strawberries I mostly need to save for tonight. But as you can see, it is complicated how much is going on. Ooh, okay, we got a couple of other things waiting around here too, so there's a couple things here or there. I guess didn't get to. Oh, there's a message too from Victor. Beatrix, you've done it, or I've done it. 
I believe I've cracked the super mysterious code that was sent to me. It was astoundingly complex. I believe that the AI that created this code displays a comparable intellect to my own. So very advanced. Almost alien? Oh, you're probably wondering what it said? Well, I determined this mysterious, perhaps even alien AI sent a message that says, hello. Not much, but pleasantries count for something. More importantly though, the moment I cracked it, I received another message. It's almost as though the mysterious AI is monitoring me. How exciting. I haven't decrypted it yet, but the code is considerably more complex. This should be fun. Well, back to work as ever. So I guess they're saying hello and we have Ogden Ortiz. Hola, Beatrix. Are you there? It's me, Ogden Ortiz. I hear you're off on a big new adventure on a mysterious island filled with secrets and danger, and maybe a few succulent fruits or veggies the world has never seen before. You know, I had to ask. Ever since you got me a steady supply of Kukadoba cu fruits, I've been reaching for even greater culinary heights within the far, far range. Plus, I'm getting pretty tired of eating Kukadoba pie. Kukadoba souffle, Kukadoba pudding, Kukadoba con carne, Kukadoba con Kukadoba. I'm running out of ideas and willpower. So if you see something new, please tell me about it. Tasty treats aside, I want to know all about the new flora and fauna you discover. Never forget, every bit of this wild world is precious and worth our care and respect. And stay hydrated out there. All that adventuring will work up a sweat. So take this water tap. Ooh, the portable water tap. That's nice. Good luck, Beatrix. Keep me posted. I'm rooting for you. Well, thank you very much. What was it? Ogden. Very cool. So yeah, I got a couple things. I might just want to launch and hope that I find later. And uh, same thing with this. Ready? Boom, boom. So pink slimes, cotton slimes, and phosphorus. The phosphorus ones we can't find too much right now, but I just need a little bit of everything. So like you guys, perfect. Which honestly, no, 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 yeah. I don't really need the pink slimes as much as I need the pink forts. If I had the pink forts, I can turn the other slimes into whatever I need them to be. If you're thinking about it that way, leave the pink slimes here. Get the little bunny ones. I mean, I would grab just these guys right here, but they're a little bit difficult to transfer. Here, come on, gotcha. That wasn't too bad. Uh, launch that, I have two of them now. I, I think if we could get up to five to 10 of them, I think that'd be good. I think that'd be a good start for everything. Cause we just don't want too much because then it becomes too much to manage. And that becomes a whole mess. A lot of chickens around here. Oh, I launched strawberries, that's not what I wanted. Whoops, can I take those back? I probably should have put those away. Where are they? Um, one, two, three. And maybe I could get some chickens if I could really overload my pen with a bunch of stuff, seeing how we're very tabby dependent right now. I think that'd be a good idea. So we can get four of them right there, no problem. The problem also does seem to be though, that if I get too much of one material, the slimes of that area start to get really hungry, really violent. Oh, here we go. A little bit of everything, right? Perfect. I think that'll be enough. Maybe a couple more pink quartz. And there's another chicken for us. Oh, that's a rooster, so I can't do too much with it. Not with my current inventory slots. Oh, here's some more. Gotcha. Seven should be enough. So what I wanna do is get them into here and yeah, start with the cotton slimes. Get them all together, nice and happy, and then send them in with those ports. And hopefully, yeah, they'll start eating those. And that'll be, I think, eight in total. Then I'll feed you some extra food, however you might want it. So send a couple more of those in and see if we have any elder chickens. I guess not. So weird. So I haven't gotten anything from that yet, but they're hungry now, so. Maybe I will just grab a couple. Stony hen, three hen hens. I don't wanna go too crazy with it just yet, but just trying to keep them happy and hungry and healthy. Okay, so that's all figured out. I, I wanna wait until it's nighttime so we can start feeding some phosphorus, but, or start, start finding some phosphorus. That was the last one that needed to turn into um, Largo. So. I think it's then time to at least take some of that and some of the carrots too, and just keep them super duper happy, super duper well fed. And if we had the money, which we do, we should keep them, you know, feeling good too. If we could, uh, 
First off, activate that so we're getting some more stuff out of it. But on top of that, we need to activate, get them a music box. An air net could be good because they love to jump out. We don't need the solar shield and the auto feeder could be good, especially for this one. Um, but I think it's fine for now, I don't know. Uh, maybe we could do the auto feeder. How much is it? It's 500, it's very expensive, so I might save it for later. But it's nighttime, now is a good time just to go grab some ph phosphor slimes. And that way I feel at least a little bit more geared up to explore in the next episode, because we made a lot of money and we spent it, I feel like, fairly effectively. Maybe I'll take that. Um, actually, you guys can have them, because I need space for the phosphor slimes, which should be popping out, yep, any moment. And I don't need a ton, because I can use my cotton slimes, my cotton ports, to uh, turn them into Largos. Because I think at this point, it seems more effective to have everything as Largos. And of course, I'll be listening to your guys' feedback and trying to apply all that as much as I can. I've been recording a lot here on launch day just to be ready so that I can have the videos out ahead of time so that if people really wanna see them, they can see them. Um, but as these episodes do roll out, and you guys see them and you give me your feedback, I'll be listening to it and I will be course correcting. I guess. Okay, so. Oh, these ones are so cute too. Look at the pink slime. There, there's fruit, veggie, meat. So like, they eat a little bit of everything, which seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Whoa, there's another one. But I think we're just gonna keep it like that, because that way we can farm up a ton of phosphor. We have taught farming up a lot of the tabby stuff too. I just didn't want to cross another thing with pink because I feel like at that point it's just too much pink ports when I could be diversifying my revenue a little bit more by getting some other stuff. So I think this is the better idea for now though. Uh, they all seem pretty happy. I'm gonna toss them a couple more carrots and then we got you guys in here. So hey guys, before I start tossing you some Q-berries, which is their favorite, right? I, I don't want to get this mixed up. Yep, that's their favorite, and we make a lot of that. So what I wanna do is take a lot of these. That should be enough to turn you guys all into little combos, right? There we go, they're popping out. Then we play some music for them to keep them happy. An air net maybe, to keep them inside. And now we should have two boxes worth of friends. That should be really good revenue streams, right? There we go. So. Gonna make as much as I can from all of that. And oh my gosh, it's making stuff, all right. So, hey, what are you doing in here? Go in there, buddy. There you go, there's some strawberries waiting for you and everything. So, I'll take what I can from these little groups. Cause it's nighttime now. Which hopefully means there is, you know, more stuff to get. I don't know what the prices are like right now. Okay, yeah, this is still at a good price. So there we go. But I think tomorrow prices are gonna change, so that's what I need to adjust for, for right now, though. Get more phosphor. Ooh, once that is back in season, I suppose you could say. We're gonna make so much. We're gonna make so much. It'll be great. The only problem now is that there's so much to get here. But there's too many little slimes in the way. Hi, guy. Let's move you. Look at all the phosphor I'm getting from this. This is great. So I think as soon as I can afford it, my next thing should be another collector. How much are those? 500, so I'll definitely get there. Okay, let's keep the strawberries with you. Oh, and look at this. Plenty more water lettuce. And the strawberries are still growing. But I should be able to toss a good chunk of that over. Maybe I'll save some of it. I think it's good to stretch it out when I can. You guys are always just eyeing down these hens. I'll toss over a few more, but once again, none of them are elders. It's so weird. I don't know why it takes so long. But I'll send over a few roostros too. And let's see what that gets me. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Okay, but I gotta go put some stuff away and then maybe we'll just sleep till morning. You know, it's not really too far off at this point anyway, so yeah. So this is filled up at that point. I'll fill this one up with a little bit more, but I probably wanna do something else with it. 
but it shows you how we're sort of figuring out the game. We're getting more efficient with things, figuring out what goes where. It's a lot of fun. So, yep, it's bedtime now. I go in here, sleep until morning, and return to our work. So, we're at 245 right now. How are the prices with everything? Obviously, this is very understandably down. This is the same, but phosphor is up. If we wait a few more days though, that's where things could get crazy. So maybe we should just wait a few days where we're not making too much more money. I got a couple more hens I can you know, toss over. Here, one, two, three, four, five. That seems good. I really just want a silly amount of them, which seems silly, but I think it's a good idea. Lots of strawberries to grab. The strawberries are very stubborn for some reason. You really gotta pull off them. Actually get them. But there's that. And they love their strawberries, so I don't think they'll mind me just tossing all that over. There you go. But if I could just keep saving up the phosphor, and they're so happy that they haven't even eaten, eaten any more of it. I think just getting more ch chicken right now would be good. Maybe a little bit more carrots here and there. But mostly the hen hens. Oh, then that's right. I was trying to get more fruit for that one Gordo. So if I see any more options for that, I guess I should try for that. But it's also something we could save for some other time. I and mean, we had exploded one Gordo. I think like we've had a lot of good, interesting experiences so far in today's episode. And ooh, look at you two. That's good. Hmm. There's so many, such a variety around here. It's great. But let's see, there should be, it, get used, it gets used up sometimes. But, where is, I don't know if I've been up there, I don't think I can. Yeah, I guess it's not available yet. I'm trying to get more resources. I guess I can't, anyways, it's fine. Where is some more chicken? And where is the phosphor one? It was back that way. And the best thing to do is to loop around anyways. Lots of little guys around here though. Oh yeah, these fruits are dying because not enough of them are getting eaten up. There we go, that's good. Look at all these chickens we can get though. That's gonna be a ton, that'll actually be really good stuff. Where was it, was it up here? No, 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 I'm getting turned around. That's the cotton one, which is great. We'll definitely deal with that soon. I keep going to so many different places, like, have I been here? Have I been here? And it's like, yes, I have been. But I just forget. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we'll get a strawberry. I wanna keep the Q-berry. Well, actually, yeah, well, let's get this. I need this. That's two more for us. Is there anything up here? Aha, look at this. Now I'm finding a lot more of them. And trying to memorize where they are would be really helpful. Okay, we're back to it. Back down here. Where was that cave? It should be right across this way. Yep, get that fruit. Is it though? Yes, it is, it is, it is. I'm not seeing any other fruit around here. That's A-OK, -okay. we should have enough to maybe make you smile for a little bit, come on. It's more, but not quite enough for you to explode, so I'm glad I could contribute to it though. And it's right over here by the entrance, so if I can just remember that, or the side of the entrance, really. I really hope that at some point there is a way, though, to uh, add more farm options, because that would be really, really helpful. So I'm mostly gonna be putting these guys into here, but I'll give you four of them. Keep you happy. That should It'll give me a lot more. Oh, they want more, so maybe I should. Cause there's a lot of chickens in here now, and pretty pretty crowded. I guess they're playing like chicken TV or something. Oh, there's one of them. So we got the elder, and I guess with the elder, the elder hen, an old bird whose egg laying days are over, easy. <laughs> I get it. So I can toss you in, somebody will eat you up. So that's what we probably wanna do, is wait for them to be elders. That way, they're not producing any more. So we're not at risk it, you know, sort of wasting any but also they'll still eat them and make the most of it. So let's toss a couple more your way, because I'm sure you're a bit hungry, right? 
Is there any risk of them overeating? Is that something I should be concerned about? I would hope not, but that would just make the game a little too complicated. Okay, come on. I'm trying to get as much as I can here. Oh no. All right, that's not so bad. 19 Phosphor, which once again, we're saving for the next day. Is that right now? It's going up, but I want it to go way, way up, you know? I'll toss in a couple more of that. I think I gave them the most of my strawberries for now. I can put all the Phosphor into there. All right, well, this has been a great episode, if you ask me. We've been making some good progress just everywhere we turn. What is this? There's another one. Okay, so more cotton. And while we did sort of reach disaster when all these guys got eaten up by the tar slimes, I think we bounced back. I think we made some good choices and now everybody is looking a little bit happier. And we got more jelly stone, so you know where that goes. Right back into here. So I think next episode, I wanna voyage back out to whatever that was called over somewhere here and see what we can do with all that. In the meantime, as you can see, like, you know, the extra tank we had or we're still working on, what can I maybe work on instead? Because like with this, I guess there must be a, another point in time where I can upgrade it. I could get more of this if I had the money, but I think it's mostly saving for things like this. I could get more Radiant Ore, no problem in the next episode. So getting a jetpack and Radiant Ore, that might be our goal for the next episode. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Slime Rancher 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.